They say times are hard for dreamers, but they are not hard for me. I've saved up everything I know. To take that step beyond the lawn, keep walking till I see the station and then see. My fingers tracing all of these towns I've never heard of. Racing past. Off the train in Paris, half a mile from San Francisco, the city. They say times are hard for dreamers and who knows, maybe they are people seem stuck or lost at sea. And I may be a dreamer, but it's gonna be this far and that is far enough for me. Outside my window there's a view. Of other windows, my own museum full of paintings I look through. Just me behind my door. It isn't what I have, it's only what I have in store. That matters now. The Hi, my name is Lisa Marie and I'm a born and bred Alice Springs local. I have been very fortunate enough to have my love of music theatre develop here in Alice Springs, so Broadway and the West End, and today I'm going to be sharing with you some of my favourite songs from some recent musicals. Uh, the first song I sang was a song called Times Are Hard For Dreamers from the musical Amelie, uh, which is based on the film Amelie. And uh, the song is about her finally taking the step and, and leaving her neurotic father and going to live in Paris. The next song I'm going to sing is called What You Don't Know About Women, which is originally a duet from the musical City of Angels by Cy Coleman, which is about uh, a writer who is turning his book into a screenplay, and the screenplay happens to be a film noir. It's quite an interesting story. Was supposed to be heading to London very soon, but isn't because of everything going on. Uh, I've always loved this song. It's such a sassy piece, and I hope you enjoy it too. What you don't know about women, what you don't know about women could fill a shelf of books. You are the type of man who looks for understanding lovers, but never understands the girl who lies beneath the covers. You only have to
You gotta mean it! What you don't know about women What you don't know about women Is what we need to hear You think if you can sound sincere Then we'll come running to you Throw in some truthful atmosphere But we can see right through you And every hollow compliment What you don't know about women You think what, what I don't know will not hurt me But you don't, don't know how often you do How long ago did good sense desert me I don't know why I still burn with you You're immature and short-sighted You're running low on emotion You are sure lack of devotion You're ready to play What you don't know skeptical when they announced that they were turning the Mean Girls movie into a musical but after I listened to it I thought it was just absolutely classic a fabulous show uh, with a book written by Tina Fey and it had a little bit of a update to reflect the new period that we're all living in there's some fantastic scathing songs in there that are very funny very poignant a little bit sad uh, and this one is sung by Janice um, uh, this is her epic speech moment uh, towards the end of Act 2 and I am obviously this song. So your best friend screwed you over, acted nice when she not nice. Well I have some advice because it's happened to me twice. Here's my secret strategy, it always works because the world doesn't end, it just feels like it does. So raise your right finger and so
a song that focuses uh, a little bit about baking, seeing as that's what we're all doing at home at the moment. This song is called What Baking Can Do, and it's from a show called Waitress, which was written by Sarah Bareilles, who uh, is a famous singer-songwriter, and it's actually based on a film that starred Kerry Russell. It's a really beautiful story about a woman who finds out she's pregnant and uh, has to sort of sort through her love life before the baby gets there. It's a beautiful show, and we'll work with it. Make it work, make it easy, make it clever, craft it into pieces, make it sweet, crimp the edges, or make it sour and serve with lemon wedges. Even doubt can be delicious, and it washes off all the dirty dishes. When it's done, I can smile, it's on someone else. Persephone and Hades and how they intersect at a certain point in the mythological scheme of things. Um, it's a very bittersweet love story and it has some incredible musical music in it and uh, this is one of the songs that Eurydice sings in Act 2 when she realises what a mistake she's made.
Manuel Miranda. He wrote a tiny little show called Hamilton. Uh, he then went on to star in Mary Poppins Returns and he wrote the music for Moana. But before he did all of that, he wrote a little show called In the Heights, which follows a largely Dominican American community who live in Washington Heights and their struggles day to day as they try live life to the fullest. It's a beautiful show and this song is sung by one of the lead characters at the beginning of the show uh, as she struggles with the fact that she doesn't fit into her college community as she thought she would. This is my street. I smile at the faces I've known all my life. They regard me with pride. And everyone's sweet. They say you're going places. So how can I say that while I was away, I had so much to hide? Hey guys, it's me. The biggest disappointment you know. The kid couldn't hack it. She's back. She's walking real slow. Welcome home, just breathe. Just breathe. As the radio plays, I'm forgotten the land. I think of the days when the city was mine. I remember the praise I teared all together. The neighborhood waved and said, Nina, be brave and you're gonna be fine. And maybe it's me. It all seems like a lifetime ago. So what do I say to these faces that I used to know? Hey, I'm home. Hey, they're not worried about me. They are all counting on me to succeed. Say 
baby. Straighten the spine, smile for the neighbors. Everything's fine, everything's cool. The standard reply, lots of tests, lots of papers. Smile, wave goodbye, and pray to the sky. This next song is called No One Else and it's from a show called Natasha Pierre and the Great Comet of 1812. It is a sung through musical that is based on Leo Tolstoy's War and Peace, just a small segment of it, and it originally starred Josh Groban in the Broadway production. Uh, it's a really beautiful piece that Natasha sings very early on about missing her love who has gone off to the war and uh, yeah, wishing he'd come home again. Thank <laughs> you. 
And he's sitting 